Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting, and in this video, I'm going over exterior paint sheens. Starting right now. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Alrighty, a few months ago, I made a video explaining paint sheens in five minutes. That video was mainly about interior paint sheens, so in the comments I got a lot of questions about exterior paint sheens, which is why I'm making this video right now. So I've, d I've busted out my old sheen chart and I've modified it somewhat for this video, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but first I'm going to go over terms so we're all starting off on the same page because you may not have seen that video. Uh, okay, so up the middle here, all of these terms on the yellow tape are all sheens and they're all also finishes. Those two terms are used interchangeably, they mean the exact same thing, and they just denote the level of sheen in a particular paint. And in general, the shinier the paint, the more durable it is. So up here you have high gloss, which has the most sheen you can possibly cram into a product. Uh, super, super shiny, also extremely durable. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got flat and matte, which have little to no sheen to them. Uh, which just means they're less durable than their shinier counterparts. Now you might be wondering why these terms are paired going up the chart here, and that is because on this side of things, uh, these are predominantly used to describe exterior sheens, where on the other side, they're their interior counterparts. Mostly. There are exceptions to all of that, and you'll find paint that's exterior that uses some of these, and vice versa, uh, but more often than not, these are very common exterior uh, paint sheens and the products that I use that's how they're described so that's kind of how I'm going about this all right so let's start with matte and flat uh, so if you have an exterior paint that's flat uh, that's probably the biggest misnomer that I see with exterior paint because there is literally to my knowledge there's no dead flat exterior paint uh, almost always they're way closer to a matte, so there's a decent amount of shine to it, and that's just true across the board. Most of the time you're going to see like a flat exterior paint, it's going to be on stucco, and usually it's like uh, from a builder, you know, they build a new house, a lot of times they're going to use uh, flat to paint the main exterior walls of a house. I really wouldn't recommend doing that if you're painting it yourself or having somebody else do it, because uh, flat tends to not hold up well in the long run. Um, when it rains, the flat paint stays wet longer than something that's got a higher sheen to it. So you're going to run into mold and mildew issues uh, more quickly than you would if you used a uh, higher sheen product. So moving on up to low luster, that is my favorite sheen to use on exterior walls. So uh, that would be siding, stucco, painted brick, um, any of that stuff, that's what we're using. And we use the low luster from Regal Select. Uh, line of paints from Benjamin Moore. It's really really nice. I, I like how it finishes and um, That's kind of what we use on all, all the main large exterior surfaces that we paint and then moving on up I put pearl here just because it kind of completes the chart, but as far as I know, there's not um, I'm sure one exists, but there's no equivalent to that in an exterior product at least none that I use uh, moving on up to soft gloss that's my other favorite and we use soft gloss the Regal Select Soft Gloss from Benny Moore on all of the trim that we paint outside. Uh, so that'd be your doors, uh, shutters, uh, trim, molding, all that good stuff. Uh, we use Soft Gloss, and to my eyes, it's much closer to a semi-gloss than a satin. Um, but again, that's probably product dependent. Um, and a lot of people like that Soft Gloss slash satin finish. Um, it's considered a factory finish, so if you ordered a door, um, you know, a new door from a factory somewhere, and you came in a specific color, chances are the sheen on that door is going to be close to a satin or a soft gloss, which is why a lot of our clients really like that, like their front doors, the shutters, all that good stuff in uh, the soft gloss, which again is my favorite. Now moving on up to gloss, most exterior gloss paint is much closer to a semi-gloss. So for instance, the duration line of exterior paints from Sherwin-Williams, their highest sheen, I think it goes satin and then uh, gloss, but the gloss is much closer to a semi-gloss, um, and it looks good. A lot of people like that on the trim doors and shutters as well. Uh, again, it's a personal preference. I, I tend to drift towards the soft gloss, um, but again, that's just my, my personal preference. And then up here you've got high gloss. Uh, 
that's you'll see that more in like special use scenarios. Some people really like to find a high gloss paint for their front door because uh, they want it really, really shiny. You just got to be careful with that because you're going to see all the brush strokes and you got to take a little bit more care with how you apply it. Um, and then the other one would be like maybe like a fire hydrant or something like that that is industrial and needs to uh, stand up in all kinds of weather and things like that. Um, but to recap, I would say most people with exterior trim, again, shutters, doors, moldings, all that stuff, any of the wood accents on your house, uh, you're going to go with a gloss slash semi-gloss or soft gloss on those surfaces. And then for the main walls of the exterior of your house, I would go with a low luster uh, finish. And then I really wouldn't recommend the flat or matte products on anything outside. So... Uh, that is my take on exterior paint sheens. If you guys have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments. I will get to as many of them as I can. I appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Goodbye. Well, I've seen the fruits of a labor. What I have, I built with my own hands. Amazing.